Okay, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to unpack a cuckoo clock. So the first thing you want to do when you get the cuckoo clock is get all your materials. For you, the, the materials that you need to unpack your cuckoo clock is scissors, a pencil, and sometimes pliers. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up the box. And you want to be very, very careful. I would definitely not use a knife to, so you don't damage anything inside the box. I would gently open up the box. And make sure these flaps, because sometimes the flaps will just start to come back in like they were packed. And you would just want to start to take out some of the packaging so you get a cuckoo clock. Okay, now you can take the cuckoo clock out of the box and you can set that down and find the rest of the parts. If it's a musical cuckoo clock, they, there will be three weights, or if, or if it's an eight-day clock, it's going to be um, very larger weights than these, so you just want to find the parts. And you also, it might come with a top piece and a pendulum here, so you want to take that out of the box. And make sure you have everything out of the box. Okay, so now what you can do is... Go to the back of the clock and open this little latch, push it up so it's out of the way of the door. And some cuckoo clocks have another hole. This hole right here is for the gong, so you can hear the gong. Sometimes Some other cuckoo clocks have a hole right here that you can stick your finger in and pry the back open. Or otherwise, some cuckoo clocks have um, just a little notch here that you can stick a pen or a pencil in. and get the back open like that. Okay, now you want to take the paper out of the gong. All this does is really just keep the gong quiet while it's getting shipped to you so you don't hear it rattling like That's all it does. You can do whatever you want with that. And then, and then you have to take out these little clips on the bellows. This just keeps the bellows shut while shipping, so it, you don't hear cuckoo while you're shipping it. Okay, then you can put the back back on. Give it a light whap. And on the front, you see there's this little latch in front of the cuckoo door. That is to keep the cuckoo door shut while shipping, so you can just move that out of the way. I wouldn't mind, you, sh you probably shouldn't pull it out because you'll get used to noticing that that's there. Okay, now you can bring all your parts over to where you're going to hang the clock. And I would definitely, and right here, this is the hole to hang the clock. This hole is not the hole to hang the clock. So hang it from this hole. And I would definitely either put a nail or screw into a stud. Because if you don't put it into a stud, the clock's going to fall off the wall. Or the nail could get loose and fall. And make the clock fall off the wall. So, all, so you need to put a good nail or screw into the wall. And um, hang the clock on the wall. And you can make sure it's level on the wall that and you can untie this wire here to let and pull it out of the bag and let these chains loose. And fall to the floor. 
Okay, now you can take the take the rest of the wire out. And you might need to kind of twist the wire to get it out if there's any kinks in the wire. And get it out so the weights can move up and down. Okay, now you can locate your top piece if you if it has a top piece or in your pendulum. And if if your clock has a top piece, there the, there are the e, either little clips that you, you can clip on the top piece onto. Otherwise, there's little like L shaped shaped latches that hooks onto the top piece, or it's these little things that slide into the. It's like these little screws that slide into these, I don't know what they're called, hook thingies and it just makes the top piece stay on. Okay, now you can get the pendulum and and you see this little um, hook at the top of the pendulum. Now back here there's a little leader, pendulum leader, that you just hook it onto. You can let the pendulum go like that. Now you can locate the weights and hook on a weight onto the hook. And now how to start the clock. You take the pendulum to one side and you let go of it. Now the next thing is to listen for the beat of the clock. If you want to hear an even tick tock, like tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, which you don't want to hear is a tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. So you can move the clock so each other way until you hear an even tick tock, tick tock, or as close as you can get to that. So all I'm going to do is just move the clock each side. Okay, that's pretty even there. And now how to, how to set the clock is... Hmm. Oh, that should stay running. You can set the... You can move the hands back and only the long hand. If you move the short hand, it's going to get all messed up. So you only want to move the long hand backwards. And you can, or, or you can move it forward. But I'm just going to move it backwards. Now I should get 12 cuckoos. Another thing I want to tell you is that. How to regulate your clock, if the clock runs fast, you want to move this bob down like that. It's, it's friction fit, so all you got to do is just push it. And if your clock's running too fast, I mean slow, you move it up. Okay. And that's it. Now you should have a functional cuckoo clock. See ya.